host, Anastasia Washington, and today we have a lot of amazing acts live and pre-recorded. And uh, let's get started right away, you guys. Are you feeling the holiday cheer? I am. Okay. Our first act comes from, a, a, is a sketch, and it's Ian Zandi. Um, Ian Zandi is a friggin' weird sketch comedy uh, comedian and stand up and can be followed at, at Ian Zandi on all platforms. Let's see what he has in store for your holidays. Hey there, I'm resident young person Ian Zandi. After a sucky year of suckiness, you may be wondering what to get your kick ass kids for Christmas. That Blow their minds on a budget. Well, wonder no more, my rad dudes. My Coolio BFS at the Cyber have just a solution for you. Introducing Tony Hawk Pro Skater Expansion Packs, including Tony Hawk Prop Skater with playable character Carrot Top. Tony Hawk Pro Slater! In this edition, he skates around town doing a bunch of auditions that he totally flunks! Pony Hawk Pro Skater! Half Pony, half Hawk! Self-explanatory! Tony Hawk Pro Waiter! Hey, 86, those red hot chili peppers! Tiny Hawk Pro Skater! Tony Hawk Pro Skater! Tony Hawk Pro Pain Skater! And Pro Pain Accessories! Tony Hawk No Skater! He gives up! Tony Hawk Christian Slater! Did you know Christian Slater was in the skateboarding movie? I found that out when I did research for this sketch! Tony Hawk Paul Schaefer! Tony Hawk Potator! Tony Hawk! Parents say he's small now, but hey, don't you worry, because he's gonna grow later! And finally, Tony Hawk Joe Trader! That's all for now, my gnarly dudes! Catch you on the flip side! Did you stop rolling yet? You know, I should have filed for unemployment instead. I don't know why I did this. Are you actually making these? God. Hi, wasn't that great? Didn't you want to buy a video game about skateboards? Me too. Uh, our next group is uh, Lucy Slevin and our very own Sarah Feliciano, who is part of the Pack Theater Booking Committee. And they are going to be doing uh, uh, a sketch for you about a, a very special holiday message. some of my sick and dying there. Happy Holidays! I was about to take a walk down memory lane. Yeah. Would you like to come with me? Yeah, but uh, I think she wants to be... need you. I don't have anything for them. All I have is this pocket lint and some minty toothpicks. Look all around you. 
You're saturated in blessings. But all of this has only ever brought harm. You just slipped in it. But the orphans need what you have. Oh, they did look mighty parched. Yes, like Nintendogs. That's all I have to offer them. No food, no money, just this. Just remember, people could drink a lot more water. Okay then, if this is what I have, this is what I'll give. Good. Merry Christmas! Are you gonna make me dry in return for hydrating the orphan oh, fiddlesticks? All we wanted for Christmas was a glass of water. Thanks, old man. Everybody come hydrate yourself. There's plenty to go around. And that's how I helped the orphans that year. And learned that you can help out even if you only have a little. Like the two dollars you Venmo back and forth between your friends. Or... You can re-gift a previously gifted box of chocolates or give away bags of your bodily fluids. The holiday season is all about making up for the aid our government fails to give us. Oh, that's my ride. Oh, and have a happy holiday season. Oh, 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 oh. I stole this from a Nordstrom. Fuck him. Let's ride, boys! And Vixen! Oh. It's so important to stay hydrated this holiday season, so thank you for that one. Uh, we have another sketch coming up for, uh, for you from Dominic Johnson. Dominic Johnson is a writer, comedian, bon vivant, Megan the Stallion fan, and uh, he has this little sketch to show you. Hey guys. Hey guys. Nothing like uh, corrupt files for your holidays. Uh, <laughs> we're going to move on to some live entertainment. That's right, live entertainment. <laughs> Here is stand-up comedian Tabitha St. Thomas Moore doing holiday-themed jokes just for you. And while we're waiting, what's your favorite Christmas song? Put it in the chat. Or don't. It seems that Santa Claus has stolen our comedian. Is she here? Santa Claus, bring back our comedian.
here she comes. So once again, let's give it up for Tabitha St. Thomas Moore doing holiday theme jokes just for you. Let's talk about politics this Christmas. Let's get deep in the weeds. Cause more unnecessary tension is what this family needs. Let's trim the tree with chaos and see how weird we get. Let's talk about politics this Christmas. We haven't even started drinking yet. It started out real civil, just the cousins who agree. But soon the conversation grabbed the whole dang family. Now mom is saying please behave while grandpa's yelling about the gays. Let's talk about politics this Christmas while I go smoke a J. While you were gone, your Uncle John was trying to keep the peace. Then someone said Antifa, now he's shouting at his niece. Oh, oh my god, god, what the fuck? Did, Did my brother, brother just call my mom a cuck? Let's talk about politics this Christmas, cause we're all shit out of luck. Pick one! Escalation, no one knew quite what to say. Then Uncle Bob brought out the nog and we moved on with our holiday. Now we're pouring drinks, having laughs. I think the danger's finally passed. We talked about politics this Christmas. Let's hope that was the last. But the whole clan's not even here yet. Who's that ringing the bell? It's MAGA Grandma, MAGA Grandma. And she wants to talk politics this Christmas. We'll see you all in hell. Well, that wasn't Tabitha, but this is. Tabitha St. Thomas, take it away. Hello, darlings. Hello. Are you in there? Are you in there? Hello. I'm Tabitha, and I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm from Brighton, but I'm here in Hollywood trying to make it big. I have a slight health condition. Sometimes I get a little faint, so we're going to try to keep it together, but I've got a couple of holiday-themed jokes. Yes, I do. Here we go. What do you call a gardener who forgot to shave? A Harry Potter! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Next one, next one. Let's not be carried away. What do you call the author? The author of Harry Potter. What? What? An asshole! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, keep it together, Tabitha. Keep it together. Oh, you're on live television. Yes. Oh dear, Johnny Carson won't be calling you if you fall flat on your head, will he? No. Oh dear. Okay, only a couple more. Oh, what do you call it when you polish off all the scotch? Getting into the Christmas. Spirits! Ah. Oh. oh dear! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one more, one more! My favorite Christmas gift was from my husband, my husband Albert. It's a whale with a horn. Do you see the whale with the horn? I call it a horny whale! Oh, that's dirty! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, gone blue! I promised I wouldn't. Oh dear. Oh, I lied. I've got one more. Oh dear. What do you call it when you walk in on Santa taking a shower? 
Jingle balls! Ah! I'm all right. I'm all right, everyone. I'm all right. Merry Christmas! What a delightful bunch of dad jokes. I loved it. I loved it. And yes, the writer of Harry Potter is an asshole. Um, so next, we are going to um, view a short film by Sam Kimball and his lovely girlfriend, Floris Laura. Remember dating? Hold on, that's a double flusher. Party, Santa. Nice oh to have a beer. Hey, what's oh. up, kids? Don't worry about it. Come on here, get a beer. Crap this. Crap this. Hey, Santa, I got a surprise for you besides that German beer. I killed one of your deer. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas. Crap this. Crap this. So I ate you, I slapped you, I ate you again, I regurgitated you and then ate you, and then I washed it down with Domain Alari. I don't even know what that is, but it tasted great. I love Christmas because I get all the bad kids. Thanks, Santa. Merry Christmas from Krampus. Krampus! Krampus! Oh, hold on one second, everybody. Whoops! <laughs> well, that wasn't Sam. That was Krampus. He broke in. Ugh. The holidays, right? Well, next, we have a stand up comedian who is probably. Yeah, we're probably not prepared to bring her up, but Maria Delegato is gonna perform. She has performed all over Los Angeles and San Diego, including the Madhouse Comedy Club, the Comedy Palace, Flappers, Burbank, and your local block party, and your favorite Latino, Filipino, and Mexican situ uh, situation mixed with that Asian persuasion, Maria Delegato! Come on in! How's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a good day, a good evening. It's Friday. You know what that means? Nothing. Nothing, y'all. It's been it's been the same Friday for the last I don't know how many months. So uh, here we are. Here we are. Um, trying to get through this quarantine. I don't know. You're maybe you're baking bread, baking some cookies. I'm doing none of those things. My dad's doing it for me because I am a uh, spoiled Asian daughter who is still unmarried. So here we are. Um, man, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's interesting. So I am half Latina and half um, Filipina. So I'm Mexican and Filipino. <clears throat> um, and it's funny because like I have one of three hairstyles and it like, depending on how I'm doing it or whatever, um, it reflects, you know, certain ethnicities. So today, you know, like usually I have like my Rosa the Riveter, right? You know, like that, si se puede, you know, my little bun, my little thing, and then my little bandana over here, you know, maybe some hoops. <laughs> and then, um, you know, then I have my my little space buns, you know, when I'm feeling like all cute and animated, like a chubby kid, cabbage patch anime character. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, and then, uh, at, you know, like today I'm giving you a little bit of like that Islander vibes, right? Like usually when my hair's all down and like flowing, I look like I'm like, oh, is she is she giving me like, a, a, she's going to have a little luau or what's she going to do? And I want to say I'm giving you Moana vibes, but like, let's be honest, I'm about to start singing, what can I say except you're welcome? Like, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm being, I keep it 100 and I would be, I would be lying to myself. So, um, yeah, but it's funny being like, uh, what is it, ethnically ambiguous. Um, one time, my sister, actually, this is a true story, the other day, my sister 
was like, hey, can you pick up the car from the shop? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So she's like, well, let me find out. Let me call, just make sure. And, um, you know, I said, um, she said she got on the phone and I heard her and she's like, uh, is it okay if my sister picks, the, picks up the car for me? She's got long black hair, um, kind of Asian-y. And I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> like, like oh, the way, you know, depending on who's looking at me, yeah, I might look Asian, you know? So, but in my head, I was like, well, now how do I, how do I Asian it up? You know, <laughs> like, what? so I was thinking like, what do I got to like, I was like, and, and also what kind of Asian is he thinking of? Like, do I got to put on a kimono? Do I got to like roll up with like some fortune cookies? You know, -ni 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 -ni, you know, like, what is he expecting? We'll have to bind my feet. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I put on a wingtip eyeliner and I hoped for the best. <laughs> um, thankfully he didn't call my sister talking about, Oh yeah, there's a fat Mexican woman trying to steal your car. Like that was the big concern is all I'm saying. Um, and then, uh, you know, holidays. So I'm going to probably spend it with my sister. Um, and we, we I'm, I'm not big on the holidays, if I'm being really honest. Um, I, there recently we kind of came up with this tradition. We have a few, I have a couple of like three sisters and we have this thing where we watch scary movies during the holidays. Like, and not, not like, you know, some, you know, fake scary, like we like, you know, we want scary, like the nun type of stuff, you know, like the conjuring, you know, sinister and like stuff that you can't watch uh, at night because you have to watch a Disney movie after, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, like, I don't know about you, but to me, I'm just like, well, I guess it's kind of fun, you know, you can watch like a Christmas themed horror movie, but really does it, you know, like, what is it? Nothing says Yuletide, Yuletidings like Krampus uh, ripping your guts out, you know? <laughs> um, nothing says Merry Christmas like being mauled by that demon from, you know, the church that burnt down in the 1900s. So, um, yeah. And, like, if I'm being really honest, uh, my favorite holiday movie, if you want to say it's a holiday movie, I guess, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, if that doesn't say dead inside, I, I don't know what does. So, <laughs> um, with that, I will say thank you so much. And that's my time. Thank you, guys. I'm Maria Delaghetto. It is also one of my favorite things to do is to watch people die on the holidays. I love it. <laughs> Nothing makes me feel more warm and fuzzy inside than a horror movie. I love it. Um, and now, to bring more holiday cheer, here is a sing-along from Muse, Malex, na 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 There's a few nines in there. I lost count. Welcome to a holiday sing-along. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us all. We are going to be doing a, a sing-along. We would love for you to join us uh, at home. Uh, so if you want to pull up the music on your phone, uh, that would be wonderful. Oh, man. You know, I have to chime in because my good associate here is on mute my love you're on mute I mr am. taylor so i'm going to repeat what taylor said um we're gonna give you a special treat a special holiday sing-along and we invite right. everyone in the audience to join I'm sorry, i think my associate is on mute um i will repeat what she correct. said correct okay uh we would like to invite you all to sing along with us we're doing um Little drummer boy, if you could please find the music in your on your on your page, thank you. You can find the music um, on your page. We're going to be doing Little Drummer Boy. Can you hear me? <sighs> pa -rum -pa -pum 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 -pum. Pa-rum-pa-pum-pum. 
A little tighter. A little tighter. I hope you're enjoying this. We really hope you do. Together. Wow. Thank you for singing along with us. That was Little Drummer Boy. I think we have time for one more. It's an oldie but goodie. It's called Deck the Halls. Everyone, you can find it on your song list. Deck the Halls. Yes. Let's sing along, Are shall we? La 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 la. No? Guys? <clears throat>
I, I, I say happy holidays. What do you guys think? Happy holidays. Yeah. yeah. Happy holidays, happy everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Someone told us sing beautifully if you want us to cut y'all off. And uh, I, I guess I guess that means uh, since we're on that we didn't. Oh. That wasn't beautiful. I thought I thought that was the I thought that was pretty tight. Um, I did too. I mean, you said tighter, tight. and we all we all listen. Yeah. Uh -huh. I heard it. That I was heard the absolutely beautiful, you guys. That was gorgeous. It was amazing. It was actually like being at the white side of my family's house during the holidays. It just oh, oh. mine too. Mm. Thank you. Also mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You found a beat somewhere in there. Um, our next performer is uh, Lauren McGrath, and she has written for Slackjaw and Point in Case, and we can't wait to hear what she has to say right now. Hi, um, I thought in spirit of the holidays, I would talk about my Catholic school that I went to on Long Island, which was hell. And um, we, they learned a lot of things in Catholic school. There, there was no sex ed but there is a lot about uh, Mary, who was a virgin who gave birth, in case you didn't know. And that is the most horrifying thing you can tell a 14-year-old girl with no sexual education, is that a virgin can give birth. Because I was constantly thinking that I was pregnant, constantly. And... Oh, sorry, I cut up. And uh, I would go to my friends. I would be like, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And they'd be like, Lauren, it's impossible for you to be pregnant. You're a virgin. Um, you would have to have the next Christ inside of you to be pregnant. And I would say, yeah, I think I have the next Christ inside of me. So being pregnant with Christ came with a couple of problems, right? The first being I was 14. I couldn't afford an abortion at the time. And the second being if you abort Christ, does he come back in three days? Is it a never ending cycle of him defeating the tomb of my womb? Because I don't really think that I have enough money to pay for that. And getting back to the Mary story, because I have a couple gripes with that story too. So Mary was 13 years old when God came to her and asked to have his baby. It's the first ever documented case of quid pro quo, quid pro quo that we have in history. Um, and so Mary skips the fun part, has the baby. But my question is, why does she have to stay a virgin afterwards? Like she had the miracle birth, hallelujah. But why can't a girl celebrate? Let Mary fuck. Joseph should be on his knees in the stable, eating that girl out for everything that she did. Let Mary fuck. And uh, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Thanks. Let everyone get some this Christmas, but only if you're COVID safe, you guys. Um, okay, well, I mean, what are your Christmas plans? Uh, let's discuss with uh, Max Ho Hawksford. Ooh. I maybe have a little bit of something in my drink, but let's let's see. Let's see what Sugar Baby's Christmas plans are. What are your Christmas plans, Sugar Baby? Hey, hey, it was such a difficult time getting here. I had to go to a Twitch and then I had to go to Zoom. I can't believe I'm here. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so I'm so glad to be here. Um, my plans for Christmas are a little bit adjusted more than I would have hoped for. Um, I am getting mailed gifts for, what do you call it, um, the 12 days of Christmas. And since we're on December 17th today, that means we're on day two. Um, 
I think that's the right map. So today I got email mailed from my sugar daddy LED light strips. Can you see that? Wow. Um, I am a little bit anxious to um, put them up myself. Um, I opened the box and I immediately got overwhelmed. Um, but so far, the outside of the box looks pretty cool. They have all of my favorite colors. Red, yellow, green, purple, and the last one is blue. Um, the one before that, I got a candle, the color of Christmas, it's red. Have you gotten any holiday gifts yet? Yeah, I got a I got a mug that said "Ew, David." <gasps> From Shit Creek. Yeah, my fave. Have you drinking out of it? <laughs> like every day, except for today when I'm drinking out of my Nutcracker one. Mm. What do you drink? What don't I drink? What are you Later. drinking in the Nutcracker? <laughs> Um, I am drinking a hot toddy, which um, I found out what a hot toddy was years later because um, I took a sip. When I've was... heard of it. Please Have explain. Heard... It's tea with bourbon. I've heard of a lemon. hot tot. A hot tot. That's maybe different. It might be different. Maybe different. Oh, that sounds good, though. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, so the rest of my... Uh, the rest of my um, Christmas is going to involve um, 10 more days of presents, uh, which hopefully will be just more money is something I need because I heard about our stimulus checks that are only $600. <laughs> That's so bad. That is not going to pay for my rent. Um, and then, um, unfortunately for the big Christmas day, I have to, um, not be around my sugar daddy because he's with his family. Bummer. He also scared that I have been sleeping around and I have COVID. Because which is a real which is <laughs> I'm just kidding you have been nice not naughty right my definition of nice is showing up pretty for a party and doing what you need to get a check being naughty, um, I feel like every time I am naughty, I find a way to explain it so it is on the nice side. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, like I kind of justify every bad thing I've done so that it's on the nice list. Um... My arm is so tired from holding this iPhone. Ooh. Have you had that issue before? No, I have a Lumi. <laughs> or maybe just the gummies. <laughs> maybe I'm just stoned. Are you talking to me on gummies and not sharing? <laughs> what? I didn't know you were looking to... Oh my god. I didn't know you were looking to um, join in the party. I wasn't invited to the party. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> well, I followed you on Instagram today. That's we're true. in the party together. We're in the party. Um, oh my god, I just saw your 
shirt. It's a dinosaur. It is. <gasps> oh my God, it's a Christmas dinosaur. Mine's yeah. just pink. It's fuzzy though, that's fun. So what do you it's hope squished. to get from Christmas? Like, what is your ultimate Christmas gift that you want to get? Tell everybody, maybe oh. get it for you on Amazon. Okay, or my something. ultimate. Okay, so I have a Amazon wish list on my um, my Instagram and my Twitter, which allows for more fun pictures. Um. Okay, so numero uno, I've always wanted to cow. I wanted a cow. Have you, you know what those are? A, a cow? A cow. Like a, like I've a, like always an wanted one. I think, yeah, they're so cute. And they are just, so they're like multi-faceted okay. is the word. Mm -hmm. They, you can have, they are for milk. And they are great for the background. Oh. My next thing that I wanted was um, an air conditioner because it is so hot all the time. Mm. And I just don't have that. Yeah. Um, another thing is um, I wanted another set of LED lights. Um, Okay. One more pair. <laughs> well, I just for I, fun. I hope you get everything on your Christmas list. I do. I Did you want to know my last thing? Yes, I didn't know there was more. I'm so sorry. I thought that was the last thing. Oh no, go. Okay, okay. There's two more. Okay. Um, one is more weed gummies, and two, it's that sweater you're wearing because I am a fan. Wow, Target. Where do you get that sweater? Target. Yeah. <gasps> Target. There's one where I live. There's one where I live. I'm so proud that there's a Target where you live. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't gift. live in. It's the greatest. I don't gift. live in Beverly Hills. I know I live in Hollywood, next to the new one. Oh, um, okay, babe, this has been really fun. I am exhausted. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna sign off okay, and just like good. feel my hair a little bit more. Have you ever felt your hair when you're high? Mm hmm. Yeah, I felt a lot of things when I'm high. <laughs> It feels really good. Okay. Merry Bye. Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. See Buy everything on his Amazon gift list or mine or just go to uh, the OnlyFans page and, and, and subscribe to Michael B. Jordan's new fan page. It's amazing. Um, okay, so we have one more amazing short film for you before we get into that cyber jam that we're going to do after. So let's get to it. Take it away. What are you doing here, Dad? So anyway, Vanessa split like the shits to go back to Iowa to get her old job back, and here I am. And what was her old job? She was a barfly. Right. How much money do you need? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, broski. I'm good on cash. The problem is Vanessa's got it, and she loves Red Bull and meth. Sorry, you can't stay here. Uh, I'm moving out. Dude, why? I didn't make the FBI again, and I'm just gonna pack up and move out to the desert and live out the rest of my days out there. 
That's no way to live, Sam. I taught you better than to be a quitter. You didn't teach me anything. You left when I was six. That's six years of education, broski. That's like a master's degree, which is like 100K at Yale. And Yale doesn't have a dad program. Think about it. Give it a Google. I'm not giving it a Google. Give it a Google. I'm not giving it a Google. Can y'all hear what me? What if I told you that I'd headphones? like to make amends with you yeah. for being a prick? Yeah. I'd say you were full of manure. Well, that's yeah. true, yeah. But seriously, oh, I want to yeah. help you. In exchange for... Just a little space on the table to sleep. And how are you going to help me? I'm going to help train your ass for the FBI, dip dong. I can't. I suck. I'm just not FBI material. Nobody is FBI material. I mean, Robert Mueller was a stand-up before he got into the FBI. And how are you going to train me? Uh, with a dope-ass training montage, broski. All right, the results are in. Moment of truth. Let's, let's see if I made the FBI. Before you open the envelope, I just want to say that I'm proud of you, son. Also, I may not be your biological father, but that's something we can tackle this afternoon. Thank you. I didn't leave, I just went to go take a shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a spectacular short film. And now, fresh off of a dance party, Allison Smith is gonna lead this cyber improv jam. <sighs> We were having a silent dance party. So we got some friends from across the country. We're gonna do some improv. I think it's a good way to kick things off. So I'm so excited. Um, I guess we could start and just have everybody introduce themselves. Is that cool? Sure. Uh, names and like a fun fact or just names and no one knows. A fun fact. And uh, if you have any like shows or things that you wanna promote that you wanna talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, my name's Whitney. Uh, Honestly, I feel like I've done this every single time, but a fun fact is I live in Connecticut. It's a magical place. Trust me. <laughs> it's a fun fact here in LA. I'm sure. I bet when you do it in Connecticut, it doesn't work, that joke, so well. It's, it's, yeah, you're right. It doesn't work. If I say, I'm from Connecticut, and people are like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also from Connecticut, and I can't get out, so. Right. Tis what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, hi, I'm Cozy. Uh, fun fact about me is that I've had two brain surgeries and they went well. Uh, um, thank you. Uh, oh. And for shows to plug, come to the Cyber Jam every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific and do some online improv. Also, check out Crash's Party every second Wednesday uh, on a different Twitch channel, but still enjoy this Twitch channel. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sam, you're up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sam Kimbrell, and you just um, you just watched a short film of mine, and I have one of the more um, uh, annoying voices uh, you're you're going to hear uh, on on the program today. Well, <laughs> we love to hear it. Okay. Good. I'm a little bit. I'm. I, I have a slightly uh, higher pitch voice than Carrie Strug, so y'all just enjoy it. <laughs> huh. well, remind me again. This is your first time ever doing improv. No. 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 no not I'm first time. Doing It'll look like it because it's that bad, but it, um, <laughs> it, it, uh, it's the first time doing Zoom improv, so I'll definitely have fun. I got a plant, so I'm comfortable because, as you know, I do well with plants. I like mm -hmm. that one's a bigger daddy than the other one. We call this one Sideshow Bob because it's got kind of like the Sideshow Bob. Ooh, that's good work. Yeah. I like it. Maria, what you got for us? 
Um, so I'm Maria de la Ghetto, you know, obviously my name says I am Moonlight as a Trap rapper, so there's a fun fact. <laughs> Just kidding. You um, mumble rap? Do you run <laughs> Oh, you know, like, do all the styles, like I'll do the 90s, like East Coast. A little yes. bit. Nice. You know, I like to keep it diverse and just like, you know, you never know what you're going to get, you know? Yeah, I'm from the South, so I love it chopped and screwed, but I'm, I'm down with all of it. Right, sure. Yeah. Pablo, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> come on and raise up. This is a true improv story. There's a girl, I'll just, I'll just call her out because I don't care. Charlotte Brown, <laughs> lovely woman. We're on a team together. She's from like whatever Carolina so I was like oh like Petey Pablo <laughs> she's like I don't know this I played this song oh, she had never heard it I right. was like I don't know oh damn shame I don't know it's such a good song too mm. yeah oh my gosh that's anyway that just, just know that some people have never heard Petey Pablo so in that way we're privileged <laughs> I think I'm one of those people. <laughs> oh, shit, girl. It's, look. I hope Petey Pablo is like a parrot, because if so, I am 100% down. Because that Agreed. sounds like a great parrot name. Like, Agreed. in my world, this was just ubiquitous. Like, the idea, this is amazing. I love it. I love you, Yankee people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Well, check them out later. You're going to, I mean, it's great. It's a good time. Um, I also learned, I think it was only last year that Flo Rida is Florida. So oh, really? <laughs> I found that yeah. I found out like two years ago or something like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing. So, oh, sometimes it what a life-changing situation where you realize a pun is happening. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. that's been true the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and will I am it's it's William. I don't know if anyone knew that. It's what? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, my favorite uh, one, DJ Mustard. Have you did you know where his intro is like buzz buzz it on the beat? Yeah. I only oh, yeah. found out recently, like maybe in the last year or two, that it was mustard on the beat, not buzzing on the beat. Mm. I was like, <laughs> oh my I was like, Here's the one that got me this year. Uh okay, I'm real. Everybody knows the song. Oh maybe yeah. Not. I'm not gonna take things for granted. Anyway, <laughs> the beginning, she goes, are you Ellie? And I always thought it was like, are you, I don't know. Oh, I, like a like question, you. like, are you Ellie? Like, I don't, uh, I don't, know, like, I don't really know why. But it's like it's, waiting it's, for him to say, uh, waiting for other names to be said. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Obviously it's Ja Rule, so it's R-U-L-E, like yeah. I get it now, but <laughs> I never got it. <laughs> what happens? Love it. So we're having fun. We got tons of time. Um, <laughs> if we can get <laughs> in the chat, if anybody, oh, my name is William and I did not know that. Thank you. You guys are all learning. Um, this should be the Charlotte Brown fan forum. If any of y'all could give us a suggestion of anything at all, we will take it. So I'll just give y'all a second to get up to speed and twist it around your head just like a helicopter. <laughs> Wait, I've heard that before, but I'm not sure where. <laughs> See, that's what it, it is. Okay. All right. I'm getting up. I can tell the Carolinas apart, and so the reality is, I'm just trying to mask that I don't actually remember. I think it's South Carolina. Come on and raise up, but I'm not sure. And if it's North, then I'm going to feel stupid. And so now I've exposed myself. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Working, oh, go for it. Ooh. Go ahead. Um, I was working in an online hip ma hip hop magazine from 2008 to 2011, or maybe a little earlier than that. So everything yeah. around then I knew really well, but everything after that I just dropped off. That was a golden time, first of all, so it's okay. Um, I was also on a lot of street teams, so I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> Relatable. Uh, so we got Thundercat, which I think is such a good suggestion. Like, I can't even argue with that. It's so awesome. It's so nice. here's what we're going to try, just because everybody does Zoom improv different, and so just to get everyone on the same page... What we're going to try is everyone turns their cameras off, first two pop up, do a scene, and the next time a camera comes on, we're going to take that as an edit so somebody can drop out or pop in. Um, obviously, if you're just trying to join a scene or whatever, verbally, you can make that clear and we'll figure it out. But let's just assume for now that the camera on and off is an edit. It just keeps it smooth. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're going to do, we're all going to turn our cameras off and then, and then improv is going to happen. So thank you, Thundercat. Thundercat. Thank you. Oh. <sighs>
gosh. You know, can I be <laughs> honest? Go ahead. Every time it rains, I just kind of wish that we had like a steady cardboard box. Just like the one that we could go to every single time because I am so bedraggled right now. It's not good. Me too. I, it's just so depressing here. Like we're outside, cardboard boxes, it's raining. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love nature, but right. I think it just feels like we're doing things on our own. Yeah, that is a good feeling. It, it is depressing out here, but it is really nice that we also get to do things on our own and kind of be free and be in nature. Because technically, like, we are nature, right? Even yeah. though we are, like, we're, we may be escaped house cats, but we're nature now. We are the true nature. We are the reason why nature exists. Yeah, I just wish having a steady house or cardboard box. Yeah. I don't miss okay. the cat food, though. No, same. It's really, it, it was kind of disgusting. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Are, why does that exist? Like, what did people think that, oh, I'm just going to take these random pieces of meat, mix it in with some dirt, and yeah. expect us to eat it? Like, how rude. Very rude. Meat and dirt. Bad combo. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Bad, terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh. That was a pretty good hairball. Well done. Ooh, yeah. Sorry about that. Just thinking about dirt and meat is just, mm, don't like it. I get <sighs> it. Like, here's the thing. Like, now that we're in the wild, we can kill our own meat and then brush the dirt off of it. You're it's right. A subtle distinction. Very subtle, but very important distinction. Right. Say, all right. So, you know what? Let's go hunting. Let's go hunting right now. Let's see what's out there. Really? Yeah, okay, I'm ready for it. It is, like, you know, I'm excited. I feel like the rain must have turned up a ton of stuff. It has to. There's got to yeah, be, like, like, a bird down somewhere. Yeah, and, like, I'll eat a snail. I don't care. I'll eat any yeah. snail. Snails are delicious in some countries, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll eat a frog. I'll eat a snail. I don't care which country I'm in when I'm eating it. If I'm a cat, I'm eating a snail. Yeah, or a frog. I mean, I always hear my owners, like, idolize eating snails and frogs anyways. Might as well go for it. Yeah, you're right. Our name, our, you know, we had really pretentious owners, didn't we? we? We did. Like, they weren't even French, but they were so into French cooking. Like, come on. We all know you're really just Americans. It, yeah. It was a big concern. I mean, that's kind of why we're here. We wanted to run away. Right? Yeah. We wanted to run away from pretentiousness. Yeah. Pretentious Americans. <laughs> That's right, the worst kind of Americans, because they're not being honest. Right. Oh, I got another herbal <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> yeah, no, please, take your time. Oh, sorry, just thinking about those Americans, those, um... I'm, I'm, I'm done fighting crime. I'm not doing it anymore. No more crime. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm going to take oh. these stupid gloves off. I'm done. Oh, sorry, you threw them off to the side. I understand. Mm -hmm. Fine. South Carolina can fend for itself. You know what? Just walk away at this point. I mean, you think that we really needed you? <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We'll see. You know? Because the, the thing is, is that crime is just a reflection of the ills of society, man. And in a way, by doing violence on the streets to anybody, uh, like I'm just a tool for the bourgeoisie, you know what I mean? And like, now that I know that, like now that I know that, I'm not gonna enforce that, man. I'm so not gonna enforce that. Sounds like our investment in your literature class has paid off really nicely. <laughs> yeah, you should never have sent me to a liberal arts college. There's my mask, I don't care about it. <laughs> That's what my face. I don't know if you saw it, but this is what it looks like. You know, that face that you have right now reminds me of when you first came here. All alone, crying, exhausted, trying to figure out where, what your purpose in life is. And you took me in with all those other orphans and trained us. Yeah. Just, yeah, so... It didn't mean everything to me. 
yeah, and this is what you treat me. This is how you repay me. Throw your mask on the ground, throw your gloves all over the place yeah. and telling me to screw off because you think your literature degree is going to get you anywhere. Okay. Here is where I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. You still need me. There's still room for you to grow. I, I need you, but I'm just... The thing is, like, I can't square us being the good guys with, like, how rich you were. Like, you have this huge mansion and science lab and all the orphans live in it. And, like, there's a you huge know. wealth disparity here. And I don't really understand, like, what are we really doing, you know? Like, you know how hard it is for me to build this empire just to keep yeah. you all safe? I know. It's hard. I know. I know. And you kept me in good spandex all these years. I, I. The best spandex. I'm. It was the best spandex. Sometimes you can't find that spandex at Victoria's Secret. You still have room to grow. You just, you still have room to grow. Uh. Well, you know, honestly, I, I think I'm just going to be tiny forever, Dad. <laughs> God, don't say that. I had big aspirations for you, kiddo. Quarterback for the old football team. <laughs> Dad, I'm a 3 2. Ah, it's don't say change. that. Doug Flutie was 2 foot 5. That's a fact. Really? For his whole life? Well, when he was a baby. But that's fine. He was yeah. at some point 2 foot 5, right? Right. <laughs> Dad, it's just, I need you to stop taking me to these, to these crazy doctors. No serum is going to make me big. I'm telling you now, this guy has got it, okay? And. Can I share something with you? Yeah, I, sure. I, I live vicarious through you. No, I figured. Oh, yeah, I, I, I knew you wrote that paper about me living vicariously through you, both to your uh, English class, your literature class, and uh, also to your therapist and also to, right. to your mother. I remember, I remember you being over my shoulder when I wrote it and being like, write it like this. And I was like, Dad, this is my paper about how vicariously you're living through me. Uh. Uh, two spaces after the period. Oh, anyway, anyway, I just like a little extra room, okay? I like things with a little bit more space. Uh, That's fine. I, it's just, I just don't think that a doctor can turn me into a regularly, like, or tall person. I don't even know what regular means, but I feel like I'm definitely on the bottom end of that. All right, well, let's play a game, then. Let's play a game. Um, it's okay. called Honesty. What do you honestly want? What do I honestly want? How do I play this game? Just by being honest? Yeah, we can try that for once. Wow, okay, Dad. Um, so what I really want is to just be able to live my life and play magic cards whenever and not feel weird about my 3-2 height. Oh, and I want to support you. I want to feel like I'm a part of that, but that that's not what I want for you. I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I was a nerd in high school. Uh, a lot of people kind of beat me up. You know, even, I was, you know, the guy who the nerds beat up. And uh, why did uh, they beat you up? Uh, can I, can I be honest with you? We I are had, playing honesty short. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we're playing the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had really small feet. Yeah. How did they know? I, it, was, it was embarrassing, but I, I literally wore baby shoes. They were the only shoes that fit. If I tried to wear adult-sized shoes, they would come off, and everybody would laugh and go, there goes, there goes Tiny Shoes Tom. Oh. <laughs> tiny Shoes Tom. <laughs> what up, Tiny Shoes Tom? Hey, Bethany. Did you like to go to prom? No, of course you wouldn't want to go to prom. <laughs> you, How's you the weather down there, Tiny Shoes uh, Tom? It's a little cloudier than normal because I'm down here. But th I, that's not important. You, um, you, you look great today. You look great. Your shoes are amazingly normal. Thank you. Um, yeah, and you got tiny shoes. Ah! Um, oh, yes. No, but a lot of people say that tiny shoes are an indication of large intellect. <laughs> you don't say. No, I did say. You're right, Tiny See, I made you laugh. I made you, I made you laugh. See, no, isn't you were more important. Tom. No, you got to keep this a secret, you know? Like, I don't want anyone else knowing. 
I showed you my tiny feet in confidence back at the winter <laughs> formal. And you like those tiny feet. Yes, it brings me to tears right now. Aren't they adorable? Don't they remind you of something? Your childhood? Couldn't you see yourself with somebody like that? With yes, you know shoes? what? I recall my childhood like years and years ago. There's something about you that brings brings back those memories. Ooh. <laughs> I can see myself now at two years old because I don't know why I was able to recall that far, but boy, did I never forget the time that I wound up climbing up on the kitchen counter. I was looking around for some cookies and there they were. I found a fork and I learned how to use that fork to kill a rodent at two years old. Tiny Shoe Tom, you're bringing a lot more of myself out than I ever want people to know. Which is why we need to keep this a secret. I want to hear more about your murder. <laughs> I want to hear more about you. Maybe another time, Tom! <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro. I... I'm Did sorry. You, do we need to report that? I, I don't know. I don't know who to talk to. My cat ran away, so I don't, I don't feel like I know anything right now. Okay, but this was just talking about murder. I, oh yeah. I feel like we need to maybe report. I mean, that might be a little no, bit you're more, right. you're more right. important than your cat. Like, no offense. No, you're you're totally right. We should report the murder. Like, but we could do it after we go to Sonic, right? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. You're right. Because those those frosties, man. Oh, that that that. that, yeah. that I'm that, just trying to get some chili cheese fries. You know what I mean? And then then we can report. We can report it. You know. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It's, it's, we got cell phones now like we can do it on the way oh know? my god you're so right can you just text can you text 911 like hey i mean <laughs> well let me call the uber how about you call 911 okay call i'm uber. just gonna text 911 you up and okay. we'll just see if they're if they're up i mean i love a man in uniform i can't lie you know okay right <laughs> it's like i hate the police but you know but <laughs> at the same time <laughs> but at the um, same time you know yeah but back to okay. Do we really want Sonic though? Because I heard there was that new uh, that new place uh, had like um, like they they like a fusion. Even though I don't generally like fusion, but it was like like a fusion Mexican okay. Filipino, but also okay. like in a burger. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's like it's gonna be rice and then right Watson mark like we don't know <laughs> i mean this kind of just sounds like hawaiian food now if you're gonna put rice and a burger patty on top of it maybe some gravy oh you know what that um, does sound like hawaiian food yeah are hawaiians know. just mexican filipinos you know i wonder about that because i am mexican filipino and i feel like i just i mean i could pass you know what i mean yeah and uh go you know i love me a good luau you know stick a, an apple in a pig's mouth and you're gonna have a party right is that I, just look i look i hear that my i'm half black my aunt used to tell people she was samoan though so i don't know i mean who doesn't love a good like warrior dance right uh i do you know, I, really, I think there really was can. uh something going down on the way maybe to wherever we decide we could stop there call the police Oh, then that's what we were doing. Oh, we were going to call the police. Ah, I forgot. Because then, because I was thinking about Samoa, and then I was thinking about 90 Day Fiance, and then I was thinking about how they always pronounce it Samoa, like, so that's specific. Right. And then I'm like, should I be doing that, or should I not? Or do I sound like somebody who's like, Barcelona, I studied abroad, like, and I don't know how I should say Samoa now. I keep thinking about Rose and the guy. Did you see? She's a Filipino woman with the old, the short white guy. Yes, guy. she's not thriving. Not really? I haven't seen anything... No, she's doing good. I think she's she has a girlfriend now, actually. So she's actually really? good. But that That's was like a wild storyline because like he this. the audacity. He was like, your breast smells ball. She's like, I have an ulcer, okay? Because I'm fucking poor, you know? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is that one of my cousins? Because I she looks familiar. Um I feel like I feel like we went from one type of bad owner to the next because ours are just pronouncing it Barcelona. <laughs> well now also, uh -huh. I also kind of feel weird that we lost that other cat. But you know what? You're a really great new cat roommate. <laughs> oh, I, I got to find the cat. I'll, be, I'll see you. 
<laughs> Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a whole different cat. <laughs> you know, we've that's the thing. This place is a mansion. There are so many cats in here. I don't know who's coming, who's going, or who's pronouncing Barcelona right. Oh my god. This Oh my god. You know what? Now I'm calming down a little bit. This This is like Disney World for cats. You think so? Tell me more. Yeah, I mean, you got the plate, you got like 12 different play sets off in one corner. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, especially, I mean, yeah, it's in a mansion, but wow, so many. And then over there, there's like 12 different bowls of food. Yeah. All right. Um, a little a concerning, but, but there's a play set. I mean, we got a play set. <laughs> we do. You know, like there are a lot of fun things. You're absolutely right. I, I am a little worried about all the other cats. I feel like there's a lot of competition. Yeah. Like, which part is mine? Which part is yours? How do I how do I mark such a giant stairwell as my own? I feel like just pissing on it should do the job. But which part? The entirety? I don't have that much pee in me. I guess start in sections and work your way up. That's probably oh, what I would do. That's really good advice. Investment is really important. You know what? If there's one thing I learned about pretentious Americans is that learn to invest. Oh, you're so right. Oh, God, we are going to. I first invested in my first uh, yacht uh, two years ago. Uh, it was a fine yeah. yacht. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It was, it was a glorious yacht. And then I realized that I'm not really in the yacht business. I'm in the <laughs> sea business. No, yes, yes. I, I, I prefer investing in the ocean. So I bought the Pacific, yes. Oh. It's the best one. <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's nothing like the Atlantic. The Atlantic is, is filled with, with, with piss and, it's and so disgusting. There, yeah. And there's so many just bodies from the slave trade. Ew, it's ruined. Ick. Ick. I like a floating Ick. plastic pile. That's what I like, Pacific. That's why I married you, Sharon. You always did enjoy plastic. That's why you invested in it. <laughs> <laughs> who knew we could charge people to just to drink water <laughs> <laughs> yes it's hilarious people are suffering <laughs> the most but we're not thing I <laughs> so much <laughs> can i can i share something can i share something rather uh, confident or very personal to me darling of course um, I'm broke. No. I, I, ah, hey, dear, that was the fine Chardonnay. Daddy, you said you're broke? Yes, little, ah. little Susie. No, no, I said I'm, I'm broke with, ha with happiness. No, 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 no. You can play all that with your wifey, but I'm not here for that. Like, I'm here for the money. I'm here for the for the cash money. Like, if you ain't sending me through Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pay, what am I even doing here with you, Zaddy? I don't even know why I'm calling you Zaddy, Mister Sam. Like, what what is this? I, I have a I have a lifestyle that I need to. Yes, yes, uh, Zaddy. You, well, you know, I was really into to hip hip cat music, you know, and I, I, I yes, I. I Listen, listen. I, I we can still make money off of your TikToks. You're very popular. We can we can First monetize all, you. I canceled my OnlyFans for you, so you need to get it together. What is it? No, I don't even know, bro. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. So what? What's going on, Sam? Do so. Uh -uh. So you're saying that you made lots of money on OnlyFans. So uh, what if me. I? No, 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 no. Dear, dear, dear. No, I wouldn't ask anybody to see you. Your rump or your tuchus. I, 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 I would think that people uh, want to look at my rump and tuchus. How do you feel about what that? rump and tuchus, Zaddy? That's why you have the money. Uh, well, I, the money is not accessible currently, but if I showed my rump and or tuchus, which are the same thing, maybe some people would pay good money. I mean, I've been working out lately. I look good, goddammit. You know what? You can have them. You can have them. <laughs> yes, I'm looking for you to sign off on a contract. You said okay. that you uh, you have a new rump. Oh, I guess you have a new rump. <laughs> That's right. 
Um, can I go off. ahead and get my plastic surgeon, my lawyer, and um, my best friend in here? You know what? Do what you like. Yes. Okay. Because I, I just I don't like to make decisions by myself, so I just need my plastic surgeon, my lawyer, and my best friend. Plastic surgeon Ooh. coming in. Okay. Norman Jewison, your lawyer. Okay. Where? Hello, best friend. Hello. Come on in. Maria. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Girl, this is the last time. You are always late. <laughs> I run on okay. of people's time. Look at me. <laughs> you don't okay, even know, you know what, though? It's not an excuse. We all got here on time. I'm sorry. Okay. It's Whatever. okay. We're all here. That's all that matters. I just want to have you sign off on some contracts and make sure everything's good. So that way you're ready for them pictures to be taken of your new rump. Okay. And rump. And trunk. Okay. All yeah, right, uh, I, have, I have a question, if I may. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Uh, are we talking? Uh, are we talking semi-solid uh, silicone butt implants? Are we talking about Brazilian butt lift? Or are we talking about skin-only uh, butt lift? Hmm, that is a very good question. I think for the price range that you're looking at, I think your best bet is the Brazilian. I think everything else might be out of the price range just to avoid the insurance and all that drama, you know? And that's the one where you take the fat out of my stomach and you put my own fat into my butt. Right, we can put it where, we can take it from wherever you want. We can do thighs, we can do it's back, we can stomach. do flat. That's where it's yeah, going to be. You can do anything. I mean, stomach's <laughs> always a good move. Abdomen, it's whatever. Be, that's where. Question. Uh, Perfect. I see the lawyer, yes. Uh, who will own the exclusive rights to the rump once it has been operated on? Will it be owned by the silicon company or will it be owned exclusively <laughs> by her? Uh, that's, why brought, that's why I brought these guys. Oh, Also a know. very good question. I think the way that we run with this company, it's a little bit more, dare I say, communist in the sense where everybody contributes. I thought y'all just brought me here to, to get dinner and maybe like take pictures of me. Oh, I got some leftover Chinese food, if you like. And you know I'm allergic what, to you food. have to tell me what oh, I... Uh, and if you're um, set up a consultation, see. I'm right here. Uh, it looks like it's just stir-fried rice for now. But I, I suppose if we wait a little bit, we can get some pad thai. And, um, I love yeah. pad thai. I know you do. <laughs> Based uh, on our other collaborations we have, I know you like pad thai, for sure. True. I, also, I like pad thai and I love tummy tucks. Ah, uh, yes. Best combination. If I eat enough pad thai, can I just get it naturally? Or no? uh, ooh, you know what? That's leaving a lot up to nature. I don't okay. Okay. You're who right. Are you again? Who, who are you? Right. So I'm a contractor. Girl, I'm here I just told you. You go ahead. You go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. No, you go ahead. Everyone's so polite. Go it's your office. Ahead, please. <laughs> so you're here because um, your friend wants to get um, a body enhancement, so to speak, just to get a uh, trunk, a bump in the trunk, in the rump, all that fun stuff. We just got to go through some negotiations. And as the best friend, I think it's important for you to be that moral support. Be there when she needs you. Girl, you've been calling me a long back. You've been calling me all that. Okay, so you know. We need to find something where you're not going to call me a long back anymore. You're also going to need to drive her home from the hospital if we do general anesthesia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you going to get the fat from? You ain't got nothing but skin and bone on you. I do. Ha I do have some. No, honey. What I do have some. No, there ain't nothing there. Do you? Am I supposed to donate? Is that what I'm here for? You didn't tell me that. Oh, the lawyer is looking a little uncomfortable right now. What's going on? <laughs> Let's say that the Thai food ruins the structure of the rump. Uh, will that void the contract? Because then she will be out of luck for a rump. Ooh. Why is all time to still talk about Thai food? I don't want Thai food. Okay, first of all, can we just get some pizza, please? Okay, we can get. Okay, you know what? Let's work with pizza. I'm, not pizza. I'm the one driving you home. I feel like I should be getting some pizza. Look, I'm sorry, like. Please stop bullying me. Girl, you know what? Stand up for yourself a little bit. It's, this is tough love. You know what? It sounds like this might be a great time for the two of you, best friend and other best friend, to talk. Let you discuss some things and then let us know when we can jump back in and get that contract signed off. I like that. I feel like you're just mad because they said that there's no such thing as two pretty best friends. And then if I don't have a long back anymore, then we would be two pretty best friends and then we couldn't be best friends. 
Yeah. Well, fat is skinny. Ugly is ugly, you know, and I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. You, you know, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Ugly is to the bone, baby okay. girl. All right. I'm sorry. Someone had to tell, you know, I just maybe... You, you, want me to, you want me to call your mama? You want me to call your sister? What? No, they're so mean also. They're also super mean. Your mom, your mom pays your rent. How is she? She's paying for your booty right now. Yeah, How is she like, mean? It's like reparation for all the alcoholism and abuse. I mean, it, it's like a financial exchange for a bunch of like emotional trauma. It's like, you don't need to worry about it, okay? Bro, that white side is coming out real hard with that, all that okay. privilege. I mean, okay. let's, let's take it down a notch, okay? Take it down a notch. What what do you need from me? Um, do do why do I need to be part of all the contracts? What is going? I just thought I was gonna wait in a sitting in the sitting waiting. Hey, hey hey there hey there kiddo. Uh, we're gonna take you to. to you know what you to... you handle the contracts. I'm gonna go get pizza next door. I, I'll be back. Oh, so just... hey hey kiddo hey kiddo. I just decided yeah, Dad, to. What's uh, up? Yeah yeah. I decided to take you to this Sonic Burger. You know I wanted to you know. Get you to grow. <laughs> uh, I've got you different kinds of shakes all set up, uh, you know, right here. <laughs> Maybe we can get you a little bigger. <laughs> Dad, I'm a little worried that I'm going to grow in ways I shouldn't be growing. I mean, before you tried to take me to a doctor to give me a height advantage, now you're giving me a girth advantage. I just don't think I'm. it's going to look, it's just not going to work. Can, can, can we play a game then? <laughs> okay, I, sure, Dad. Yeah, yeah. It's called dishonesty. <laughs> Say okay. something dishonest. <laughs> that sounds fun. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, yeah. Anything in particular? Say, yeah, yeah. Say something like, um, "I'm appreciative and love you, and I will grow for you." Okay, I've got one. I really want to be a football player and to and to fulfill all of your dreams. I knew it. I that knew felt, it. Did that feel I, good? That felt great, son. It's these okay. kind of moments that make me proud to be your father. Hmm. Snowball, come back. Snowball, please. Snowball. Snowball. Please, Snowball. Snowball, I will cook you. I will cook anything you want, Snowball. <laughs> Thank God. I thought you said you were going to cook me. And I would have no. away immediately. Snowball, there, there are man cats out there. They have spiky little penises. Yeah, you, you don't know what you're getting into. You should come in, please. Snowball. Oh, I'm conflicted. I don't like the food you make, but on the other hand, the spiky penises don't sound appealing right now. They're so spiky. Have you ever heard a cat have sex before? No, because you've ha had a cared for life. It's a horrible sound. It spikes in, and then you can't get out. It's so. Can horrible. you reenact the sound just so I can get a clear sense as to whether or not I've heard cats having sex it's before? Like, yeah. And that's our show. So let's bring it on. <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for playing this is so fun um Woo! I like to end on that now because it's where we where, nowhere to go but up um <laughs> so i did want to say you know to all the people watching we still have more shows tonight okay so it's wizarding world live after this at eight um alone together at nine which is a super fun improv show and then at midnight I think we have Go Sketch Yourself or they're off this month, question mark. I don't know, but let's find out. If you end up coming at midnight and there's not Go Sketch Yourself, you could watch a rerun of any of our great shows. And I, there's not. Okay, that's a lie. Like, <laughs> ignore that. But like, we're doing World Live alone together. That's pretty great. And then, you know, you can be done at 10 and get to bed. And then we have like one more fun video for you guys to watch, like as we say goodbye. So thanks everybody for doing this wonderful holiday show and spending time with us. Thank you. Video time. Bye. Bye. Wow. Are you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Dom Johnson here. We're good. Um, I had a big old extravagant uh, Christmas sketch planned out and it had fun green screen and the road trip boys were in it. Uh, 
Billy and Michael came up with a, an original song. It was going to be phenomenal. Um, but I don't think it's appropriate right now. Last night at 8 p.m., I received some terrible news. At the at the fictitious Christmas character annual Christmas party, uh, Jesus Christ shot down the Grinch. Um, I wasn't there, obviously. I'm a real human being, but sources have indicated to me that the Grinch and Jesus were both arguing about what's the best Christmas movie. Uh, the Grinch, rightfully so, uh, feels like Serendipity is the best Christmas movie. And Jesus thinks it's Love Actually. I like that movie, but it's kind of creepy. Um, you know, with the, the poster board and all that. So the Grinch thought they were having like a fun, lighthearted discussion, but if you know anything about Jesus, you know that he can't hold his liquor and he's a violent drunk when he starts drinking. Outside of that, he's a really cool guy, don't get me wrong, but when he starts drinking, I mean, what do you tell a motherfucker who thinks that he's literally God? So, you know, Santa scoops him up, gets him outside and is like, hey, you, you, you do this every year, we, we, we can't. I, I'm going to call you a lift. Please go home. Uh, sleep this off. Goes back inside. The party goes on like normal. Everything is great. Uh, the whole crew is there. Rudolph, Frosty, that donkey with long ears, the Muppets. You know, everybody was there. It was great. Um, so the party ends. It's about midnight. And uh, the Grinch is headed back to his car. And Jesus is still out there. And, you know, the Grinch thinks that's obviously kind of weird. So, you know, he's like, hey, Jesus, um, see you later. Tries to get into his car. And Jesus is holding a poster board, um, much like that terrible scene in Love Actually. And he's just like, the poster board says, Merry Christmas, dot, dot, dot. And... Then he drops the poster board and he's holding the gun. He proceeds to shoot the Grinch 27 times in his heart. Now, if you know anything about the Grinch, you know that that's the strongest part of his body. And it tried to grow and grow and grow, but every time it grew, Jesus shot it until it stopped growing. And the Grinch was pronounced dead shortly after. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be any consequences you know, if you've learned anything in 2020, it's that the criminal justice system isn't built for all of us. Uh, certainly not for uh, green people. So um, if you can, I know times are tough for everybody in these unprecedented times, but if you have a few dollars, uh, please consider donating to the Grinch's GoFundMe. Uh, his family didn't have a lot of money. Uh, saved up and he doesn't have very good uh, life insurance so every little bit helps um, I hope to one day show you guys that video that we were gonna do but for now um, let's try to show each other some love and some kindness um, you know give your people your flowers when they're alive uh, have a good night